go here with circle first we are having here center point circle like this so to give parameters same again we will go for constraints and we can give the dimensions then by using three points you are able to create one circle like this then next to that we are having here circle using coordinates what is mean by this circle using coordinates means let me delete all these things now let's say for example here we need to use circle using coordinates so coordinates is nothing but with reference to origin point horizontally how much distance we are having and vertically how much distance we are having just let me click on circle using coordinates then as you can see here we need to create circle so where we want to create the circle horizontally let's say for example i need distance of some 50 vertically i need some 60 radius i need one 10 mm let's if i say okay one proper circle will be created exactly with radius of 10 with reference to horizontal direction of dimension 50 with reference to vertically dimension of 60 like this so that is we can use this circle using coordinates option next we are having tri tangent circle tri is nothing but three it means you are able to create one circle tangent to all three elements directly now for that let me create three lines like this then we want to create one circle exactly tangent to all these three elements in that case we can use here tri tangent circle click first element second element then third element one circle will be created exactly at the tangent to this all three profiles like this then next we are having here three point arc so arc is nothing but a sector of circle now just if i click on this three point arc you are able to create one arc from first point second point third point like this or else similar to that one more we are having here three point arc starting with limits it means we need to select first point then end point either you want this direction or this direction just we can keep it like this then next to that we are having here center point arc so to create that we need to start from center then from where you want then up to where you want like this you can create this center point arc so in this way you can use here this circle options then again just let me delete all these things then now we will see here spline spline is nothing but continuous curvature profile we are able to draw like this just i will end here by double clicking there then let me create one more spline like this like this you are able to create continuous curvature profile by using this spline then connect option is there let's say for example two continuous curvature profiles are there if you want to join these two curvatures and if you join here with a line will it be correct no why because this is a curve profile this is the curve profile and if you are joining these two curve profiles with a line that will be not correct so we need to connect that with a curvature in that condition we can use here connect option so we need to connect this and this properly it will be connected with the curvature profile just i'll go back by using control plus z if i click on connect as you can see here different options we are having so connect with arc different different things will be there if i click here with arc profile it will be created again connect so like that according to our requirement which type we want just we can make it use of that like this in a different ways so let me close this and let me delete this next we will see here how to create this conic shapes first we are having here ellipse so just i'll create one ellipse exactly from here to here like this then here parabola you can create first point end point from where you want to start 
up to where you want like this then hyperbola by focus first point second point then how much distance you want then from where you want up to where you want like this that is hyperbola by focus then one more conic will be there so to use conic we need some reference elements now let me create here two lines like this then we need to create one conic between this line to this line you are able to get conic shape here like this we can use this conic options then next we will see here line options so in line we are having here normal line just you are able to create a single line like this then if I click on line, as you can see here, if you are starting a straight line, it will be shown in blue color and it will highlight either it is a horizontal line or vertical line. Then again, I will click on line. One more extra option will be available here, symmetrical extension. So what is meant by this symmetrical extension means, with reference to any point, if you want to create one line, exactly with equal distance in both directions at a time so in these conditions you can use that option line symmetrical extension for example if you want to create one line with reference to this point with equal length on both directions at a time directly you can create by using that symmetrical extension option like this next option we are having here infinite length Infinite length is nothing but no end will be there for that particular line and you are able to create here either horizontal or vertical or line through points. Now let me insert one horizontal line like this. As you can see here, if I zoom out, there is no end for that particular line. Now let me adjust to the screen by using fit. Next we are having here by tangent line. By is nothing but two it means let's say for example two circles we are having here like this we need one line tangent to this and tangent to this in that conditions you can use by tangent line we need one tangent line tangent to this circle and tangent to this circle like this by tangent let's say for example this side to this side i want one tangent line will be created between the two profiles with the relation of tangency. Next one, bisecting line will be there. So what is meant by bisecting line means, let's say for example, two line profiles we are having here. Then we need to bisect one more extra line in between these two. So in that condition, you can use this bisecting line between this to this, one extra bisecting line will be created here. Then next to that line normal to curve is there. Let's say for example one curvature we are having here. Then one line we are having somewhere here like this. Let me turn off this or else if you want to create one line profile exactly normal to this directly you are able to create one line as you can see we will get properly 90 degrees here with reference to the circular part. So in that way you can use here line options let me close that then next to line we are having here axis so directly we can create one axis line whenever we need some extra construction lines like this either you want horizontal or vertical you are able to create this axis lines then next to that we are having here point so wherever we want just we can create point and whatever the option you want to use continuously, you can just double click on that and you can use continuously like this. How many times you want, you are able to use continuously by using this, double clicking on that any option. Then next we will see here, point by using coordinates. It means by using coordinate values, you are able to create one point. So let me delete everything here. Now let's say for example, we need to create one point with reference to origin, horizontally with some distance, vertically with some distance. Just I will click on point by using coordinates. 
horizontally i need some 30 vertically i need some 50 if i say okay one point will be created exactly with the given parameters of horizontally 30 then vertically 50 like this then equidistant points will be there it means let's say for example one line we are having here this line i need to divide with some equal points so in that case we can use equidistant points for this circle how many points we want to create for this let me give some five so properly five points will be created on this line with the equal distance like this that is equidistant points then intersection point will be there what is the use of intersection point means let's say for example we are having here two lines and we need to start some other profile or we need to create one point exactly intersection of these two lines in that case we can use here intersection point between this to this one extra point will be created here so directly we can select that particular point by using this intersection point next to that we are having projection point what is meant by projection point means let's say for example one curvature we are having we need to project this line end point onto this circle so in that condition we can use here projection point i need to project this point onto this circle normal to that circle point will be projected onto circle like this we can use here profile toolbar so if you have any doubts regarding this profile toolbar and introduction of CATIA up to now you can just let me know in comment box thanks for watching